On this episode of Cox Connections, embracing diversity in the workplace is all about having an inclusive and welcoming climate for employees. Workplace diversity also involves supporting differences and offering respect for everyone. Today on Cox Connections, we'll learn about how the Hampton Roads Diversity and Inclusion Consortium is encouraging employers in this important effort. Also, it's a swing, then a bounce, then a hole in one for local business feedback golf. They are the winners of this year's Get Started Nova competition held by Cox Business and Inc. Magazine. We'll hear all about this fast pitch contest today. And did you know that beginning in 1619, three major cultures came together to create something quite unique, America as we know it today? Scholars and community leaders have gathered at Norfolk State University this September to discuss just that. Today, we'll learn about 1619, The Making of America. Stay tuned, Cox Connections is next. Hello, and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Tony Stubbs, Vice President of Field Engineering and Operations for Cox, Virginia. In 1987, the Hudson Institute's landmark study, Workplace 2000, forecasted that the American workforce would encounter vast demographic changes in the new millennium. Today, workplace diversity is a reality. Managed well, diversity provides benefits that increase success for both the company and the individual. The Hampton Roads Diversity and Inclusion Consortium has created a learning exchange for employers and employees to share ideas about diversity in the workplace. Here to discuss the, the consortium is Craig McMillan from the City of Virginia Beach and Lisa White from Cox, Virginia. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So Craig, you're part of the Hampton Roads Diversity and Inclusion Consortium. Can you tell us about the group? Sure. Um, in 2011, Consortium was created to act as an agent of change within the region, trying to give other organizations and businesses and folks who have to deal with the issue of workplace diversity um, a venue and a resource to be able to address the issue. So what's the difference between diversity and inclusion? So simply stated, diversity is the differences among people. Certainly saying that, understanding that there are a lot of different demographic variables that go under that umbrella of difference. Um, while inclusion is about making people feel valued, respected, and a part of. And so that's kind of what we want to do with the consortium is be able to address those kind of issues within the region um, along with our partners. And how have you seen this manifested in the city of Virginia Beach? Hmm. It's a very interesting question. So just by virtue of the fact that I'm able to be here today, city of Virginia Beach has made inclusion inclusion and diversity um, a part of its value system. So we're not just assuming that the membership of the organization understands that we should all work along one, alongside one another, excuse me. Um, but what we certainly understand is um, that if we say we're about understanding the differences amongst people, um, that it's a value that we want to embrace as a city. Also, the city has an inclusion and diversity council that helps to ensure that the membership is educated about this and um, those are some ways that I see it happen in our workplace. Great. Lisa, um, can you tell us how Cox develops goals concerning diversity and inclusion? Yeah, so um, we set goals and measure them against four different pillars. Um, we have our people pillar, <clears throat> our community pillar, our supplier pillar, and services. Um, so we have the, the four pillars and we set goals for those pillars and you know, measure against them as a company. And Cox has a diversity council. Tell me a little bit about the diversity council. Uh, the diversity council is great. We have a great group of folks this year. Um, there's about 25 um, employees, both leaders and frontline employees um, that come together and really work to bring awareness to different diversity initiatives. Um, some of the initiatives that we're working on this year are veterans, um, we are working on women in leadership, LGBT, and also Connect to Compete, which is uh, our low-cost um, broadband 
program that we've just adopted. So how does Cox ensure diversity and inclusion? Um, we, you know, we really, as a company, you know, hold each individual accountable and responsible for um, maintaining a, an environment of inclusiveness. Um, you know, this is, this is not only a good thing for our people, our customers, um, but it's also the right thing to do as a business. Craig, back to you. Uh, can you tell us how people can become involved with the Hampton Roads Diversity and Inclusion Consortium? Sure. So I, I would certainly direct them to the, the website for the consortium, which is um, hrdic.com. And once they go there, there's information on the website that will inform them about the next meetings that we're having or any other special events. Once you've attended a meeting, we keep track of you. Um, as a member and keep you abreast of what's going on. And so at that point, you, you're considered a member of the consortium and we certainly would welcome you with open arms to address this issue of inclusion and diversity. Wonderful. Well, I'd like to thank you both for coming and sharing. I appreciate you coming out today. Okay, thank you, John. Thank you for having us. Coming up, five entrepreneurs, a panel of business experts, and two minutes to pitch your idea. A lot of pressure for a startup business but one local company was the clear winner. We'll tell you how Cox Business and Inc. Magazine have rewarded Feedback Golf for its energy and imagination. Stay tuned for more Cox Connections.